Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create this sunset drag makeup look. So, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. The first thing that I'm going to do, I look really mean. Um, I'm just going to tie my hair up and put some hand sanitizer on, you know, got to be hygienic, especially nowadays. I've popped on these little eye masks to prep under the eyes and then... I am going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm using this Freedom Dip Brow Pomade. You can use any dip brow you like. I'm going quite pale today because I'm wearing blonde. I'm being a blonde. But I'm gonna go straight out with that and brushing them out with a spoolie. I didn't cover my eyebrows for this look. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium and I'm going to be carving out the brows. I am also going to be priming my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as well. And because it's a lighter shade, it's gonna really make the eyeshadows pop in that way and really redefine really the eyebrows and make them super, super sharp. I don't usually like carve the top but since it's a drag look, you know, why not? I like to do it when in drag, not really so much like day to day from doing like a girly kind of look. You know what I mean? Once I've got that all over, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Pro Matte Palette. I'm gonna be using the matte white shade all of the shadows in this palette is actually matte. I'm just popping the white matte eyeshadow across the brow bone before I put on this plummy purple. And I'm applying that into the crease and kind of extending it out. I'm kind of creating kind of like a wing shape and this is gonna be like the deepest color that we use from the palette in that way. I'm just using a pencil brush. And then I'm gonna be using a hot pink eyeshadow and then kind of putting that 50% above the crease to kind of like radiate that upwards. And I think this look is just so pretty. Um, now I'm using the matte yellow eyeshadow. I love yellow eyeshadow. It really complements a lot of different skin tones and it's a really good blending color, especially for this kind of like sunset-y eye. I'm putting that 50% above the pink and then building the pink and the purple up again. I'm also applying the pink a little bit on the outer corner of the lid before I cut the crease again with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm only doing a half cut crease because um, it's not every day for cut crease, do you know what I mean? It's not like every day. It's a lot easier if you do a half one as well. So I like to do that a lot of the time. And then I'm building the pink up again on the outer corner before I go in with um, my MAC white gold pigment it's not really gold it's more like a white with a green shift to be honest like a green bluey shift but it's so pretty and then i'm gonna be using my nyx eyeliner this is the skinny marker it's not really my favorite liner you guys to be honest but this is what i had at the time of filming this video so um I'm using this eyeliner to do my inner corner wing and also my outer corner wing and I'm going quite big and quite thick. Well, because it's a drag look, you can go as big as you want. You can reach up to your crease if you want. Trixie Mattel and Raven tend to do that. But today I'm just kind of going like, you know, a good thick wing, not too thick though. Because we still want the eyeshadow to show in that way. After that, I am going to redefine underneath the wing, clean up the eyeshadow with my concealer again. I'm just using a concealer brush. This just makes everything super clean and super sharp and erase any mistakes that you may have had from beforehand. Any fallout, it cleans it up. Bish bash bosh, done. She's filling herself already. Um, I'm going to be using my Be Perfect. Um, mascara lighting my lip over there and for my lashes i'm going to be stacking like i think i stacked about three or four of these ruben de may w7 eyelashes i don't have the names because i cut up the boxes um but i stacked four of the lashes up cut them up to make this beautiful lash 
These lashes are great. Well done, Ruben. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm actually using an eyeshadow, a matte orange eyeshadow from the same palette we used before as a color corrector. I'm applying that on the mustache area and also the beard area and under the eyes. Correct any blue, any green, any gray, so we don't have any shadows in that way. I'm using my Milani Sand Foundation. Uh, I like to use liquid foundation, to be honest. In drag, out of drag, just my girl looks. I don't think that I personally need that much coverage. I don't like to have that much coverage because it's just so thick. Pan stick foundations are just so heavy. Um, for in terms of like a lot of guys, they want and need that coverage on stage. But for me, it's just like not for me. I'm using my concealer again. I'm using the collection one and my Illamasqua skin base foundation in white to highlight. So even for my highlights, I actually like to use a liquid. For contouring, I can use cream though, for sure. But for my highlight, liquid is fine. I th just think it blends a lot better. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just using the same foundation brush that I used before, which is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. Blending out the forehead. You know, you want to create a beige rainbow, as they like to say in drag. And after that, I am going to go in underneath the cheekbones a little bit with the white. Just a little bit, you know. We want our cheekbones really, really cut and high. And then for the cream contour, I'm going to be using the All Night Long Foundation by Barry M. I think I'm using the shade number 8. Fudge, I think it's called. And I'm just going to apply that um, above the jawline to cut the jawline, the forehead, above the cheekbones to create a higher cheekbones, the philtrum under the lip. And for nose contour, you might be wondering why I didn't put it there. It's because I like to contour my nose with powder because I don't like to look too crazy with the nose contour. I don't want my nose looking like too dark in that way. So powder just works for me better in that way. So I'm just going to be using a stippling brush to just blend in the contours and just buff it in. This is like, makes my skin look a lot warmer as well. I'm using the Ben Night Banana Powder on actually like a powder brush or like a blush brush. I'm not using a powder puff just because um, I think it applies the powder too heavy. So I'm just using a brush to kind of like press that into the skin. I'm using my Patricia Bright Contour Palette and I'm going to be resetting with a bronzer to reinforce the contour because when you set with powder it kind of dulls down the cream contour in that way and you want it to be super super defined super sharp super pigmented because at the end of the day we want to show um, up the makeup in in terms of the stage it want it needs to pop and I am going to be contouring my nose now as well with the little bronzer powder from Patricia Bright Revolution palette. I'm also going to do the tip of the nose to kind of shorten the nose a little bit. And under the lip. It makes your bottom lip look massive. Right now I'm using the pink blush on the back of my cheeks just above the contour and I'm also going to apply that on the forehead the jawline it warms your skin up so it gets rid of the shadow it gets rid of your beard area do you know what I mean it just like warms it up so much I am going to be cutting some of the highlights with this is actually a paint sponge you know like from the art store it's really really cheap I think you can get them from the pound shop as well I mean not right now because of the lockdown but you know um is the pound shop open during the lockdown I have no idea um yeah so you can get this from like the supermarket if they've got like paints and stuff I'm applying that onto the chin area and also cutting the nose contour the nearer to the center of the nose that you have your nose contour the littler your nose will appear and the more pinched your nose will appear as well I'm also just applying that just in the center bridge for my highlighter this is the shimmer highlight now I'm using my Barry Ann pink solstice and this just brings the skin back to like a more of a highlighted dewy skin finish 
and also it just pops on stage like so so much it looks sick on pictures i'm applying that on the top of the cheekbones and also on the forehead kind of like above the temple area like next to it where we contoured next to that and then for the lips i'm using my nyx lip pencil in hot pink and overlining the lips i'm making my lips super round before i go in um with my lipstick, I like to overline first. And then for the lipstick, I'm using this Makeup Geek lipstick. And I'm going to be blending that in. I used quite a nude colour, but it ended up quite a nice, nice medium toned pink. And that is the final look, you guys. This is my pink tool fantasy look. I hope that you enjoyed the video. and. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe. Bye, guys.